the vehicle to get around, you already know our roads are full of potholes. A Carleton University professor says it doesn't have to be this way. He says technology to prevent potholes has been around for years. So why aren't we using it? Simon Gardner went in search of the answer. This year, potholes are especially bad. Hit them hard enough and these mini craters can ruin your rims. And then you can see the crack. Abd El Halim is like a professor of potholes, and as you'll see, he thinks we could be doing much more to prevent them. It's no secret potholes are created by water seeping into cracks. But how are those cracks formed? The professor says most are created right from the start by the heavy impact of rolling machines. This is cracks, my friend. Yes, that's the birth of the death of your road is the minute you compact it. The cracks then widen throughout the winter as the road freezes and thaws. The solution? Soften the rolling shock with a large rubber belt. That's the concept behind this vehicle, which was jointly developed back in the late 80s by Carleton University and the National Research Council. This photo shows that water is not seeping into asphalt, rolled over by the rubber belt vehicle. This photo shows what happens when a normal roller is used. Even though this machine was developed 20 years ago, it's only being used in one country, Australia. The obvious question, if it's so superior, why isn't it being used everywhere? The answer, you can't just go out and buy one. Halim says negotiations to have the machine manufactured on a commercial scale have never got past the talking stage. He's convinced manufacturers have little incentive to change because existing machines are still selling well. This is the point. Why should they uh, change their uh, uh, technology when nobody is forcing them to? They're selling and they always sell. A roads expert at the city of Ottawa says they are aware of this technology and think it's promising. But the fact it's not commercially available means they can't consider it at this time. Simon Gardner, CBC News, Ottawa. Ottawa police are holding a gun amnesty over the next two weeks. The program runs until April the 25th to